For the final part of this project, what we need to do is get rid of this light, this light, and the light over the sink. And we've got a set of lights, three different lights, all matching like this style, just to uh, modernize this a little bit. The only complexity to this, because this is all pretty straightforward, everything comes together and the light's already wired. You just have to connect the wires and give you the brackets and everything you need. But in this case, this light, they cut out around the electrical box really sloppy you know the builders of the house that uh, did this originally they just didn't care they just cut it sloppy and this base now this base is too small so the corners stick out and it looks bad and it's, we can either patch the drywall which is a lot of work because we're trying not to paint right uh, the homeowner doesn't want to paint so what I'm going to do is I want to put this over the box and put it up there just to blend it in. They do sell these things called medallions. You know, they're about six or 10 inches though. And they're a little too big, obnoxious, and they look really outdated. So uh, what I don't want to do is put a new up-to-date light in and then put an outdated medallion in and uh, do it the kludgy way. So, well, actually probably the right way. <laughs> what I'm doing now is the kludgy way because this is actually for recessed lighting it's a cover for recessed lighting but I'm going to try to fit this so that it's smaller and just white and discreet and cleaner than that big giant 10 inch or 6 inch medallion it's just big and obnoxious so let me get started on this and then I'll show you the final results there's not a whole lot of ex excitement as you do it it's just very straightforward uh, but I'll show you the before and after now you can see that the ceiling is a little beat up from the base of that last light, so I'm not sure how we're going to take care of that. We're probably going to have to get a little touch-up paint, fix that up, maybe uh, fill those holes in. We'll see how it looks once we get this up, but I mean, from here, it doesn't look good, so I can tell we've got to do a little painting. Even though the goal was not to do any painting, it's, there's nothing I can do about it because it's already beat up before we even do anything. And then here, I had to grind the surface off here. There was a lip in here. And that lip was hitting on the box and I had the option of either cutting the drywall away or uh, grinding this thing down. And I didn't want to make that hole any bigger. You can see how it's already oversized. They already did a sloppy cut. If I made that bigger, it would just make the whole situation worse. And uh, I didn't want to do that. So went down and I ground this away with a grinder and it'll be covered up. You'll see here. So it'll look good. All right, let's move on. Now you can see I ended up having to patch that ceiling. It just was a little too beat up. It's going to show up. So to make this thing look right, we just had to get that patched and uh, then we'll get some touch up paint on it and then it'll look good. All right, a couple quick tips here. We are doing the installation of the final light. And you can see that this is all messed up there. So A, we have to come in and fix that drywall, patch it up, and then paint it. So when you are taking these lights apart, one of the things you always want to do with any project is take all your parts and put them in a little organizer bin. Because I guarantee that these little parts here are going to get knocked off the counter at some point in time. Maybe not this project, but eventually you're going to knock that part off the counter and you are not going to get your project completed. Now, the second thing is always label your paint because while you think you're going to remember what paint goes where, what colors go to what wall, you very likely won't. So always just stick some tape on there, write down where this paint belongs, what rooms you use this paint in. So when you have to come back at a future point in time and make a small repair like this, you don't wanna repaint the whole house you want to make that paint match perfectly and you can do that if you label your paint and there you go we've got the final light installed i'll come over here and just show you how we had to fix that drywall but you can see the drywall is all fixed up it was just patching fortunately they had the paint left over that matched so we were able to actually redo the drywall without trying to do something funny and uh, now we have this setting and if we want to go more to a daylight setting, we can add these in and we can crank them up. Or, of course, depending on what you're trying to do, I'm just going to kick these off. 
Ah, I'll leave that one on. But now you have these lights, you can crank them way up if you want it to be really bright. Let's say you're working in the kitchen or if you want to just tone it down for the nighttime. So these lights do have the selectable switches. You can go daylight or which they're set at. That's why they're very white. Or you can yellow them up if you want to change the tone to be more like these lights. You know, instead of different, uh, just a different look. All right, so it depends on what you want to do, what mood you're in, whether you want a warmer tone or a bright daylight tone. And uh, that's it. This is a wrap for this project and we're done here. Mm -hmm.